Hello, I'm Luca Kumai, and we're talking about probability and how it applies to genetic analysis. Let's talk about the binomial expansion. What is a binomial? Very simply, is a sum like this, two numbers, which is elevated to a power. You can expand this as shown, p squared plus 2pq plus q squared. The numbers here are called the coefficient of the binomial. In this case, you know that our coefficient were actually 1, 2, and 1. We just chose not to draw the 1 out there. The coefficients can be derived for any type of exponential by um, a number of ways. The way that I like to use is called the Pascal triangle. The Pascal triangle is shown here. You start putting a 1 at the, at the, at the top, and you go down the side and, and put more ones. But um, as you write this out, you put numbers here, which are the sum of the two number that can feed directly into it. So for example, this 3 is the sum of 2 and 1. This 6 is the sum of 3 and 3. And uh, this 10 is the sum of uh, 6 and 4. So it's pretty easy to build a triangle. It takes two seconds. Where do we apply the binomial expansion? The case is shown here. Let's consider an heterozygous individual for the round seed uh, trait. You know that this individual can produce, when self, two types of progeny. One progeny will be round, represented by this circle. This is the round seed. And we know the probability of that is 3 out of 4. The other type of progeny is wrinkled. We know the probability of that is 1 out of 4. Let's actually give letters to these numbers. And we're going to call the probability of the round, we're going to call it little p. And the probability of the wrinkle, we're going to call it little q. The binomial expansion is required to calculate the probability of something uh, of this type. But suppose I ask you, what is the probability to find a pod from this individual self that has three rounds and two wrinkled in any order? We'll need for that this expansion. But first, let's calculate the probability of a given type of pod. And for example, this pod has the first three round and the last two wrinkled. So the probability of this one it's pretty easy to calculate. This r probability of those three is p to the third power. The probability of this two is q squared. We multiply this two, and we get the probability of this particular pod. What we don't know is how many pods you can make where in any order you have three round and two wrinkle. For that, we're going to use the expansion. And the number of pods is provided by the coefficient of the expansion for the power of the number of seeds being present. So the probability of this type of, of pods, of a pod with five seeds, is provided by expanding the binomia of p and q by the exponent of 5. So I take p plus q elevated to the fifth power and expand that. How do I expand that? I've drawn here the coefficient for exponential 5. And by the way, if we go down the Pascal triangle, the uh, first line of two members is for the exponent of 1. This is the exponent of 2. As you can see, 1, 2, 1. Here it is, 1, 2, 1. This is for the exponent of 3. So this would be used to calculate the probability of pods that have three seeds. Here is a way to calculate the probability of pods that have four seeds. And now here's the probability of pods that have five seeds. So let's consider this first element of our expansion. It has a coefficient of 1. And that one would be multiply 
times p to the fifth power. And this represents a pod that has five round seeds. This actually makes mathematical sense because there is only one way to make this type of pod. So there's only one pod, and the probability will be the probability of each individual seed multiplied, or p to the fifth power. The next term is the one where we are considering the probability of a pod that has, and I'll exemplify one of those pods that has one wrinkled and four round. Now, we know that an individual pod here will have p to the four for a given pod, will have p to the four, q to the one, and the coefficient is now five. There are five of these pods. For the pods that have three round and two, um, I now take my coefficient of 10. I multiply times p to what power? Well, we said three rounds, so p is to the third power. Two wrinkles, so q is to the square. And that's all there is. This is the probability of having any type of pod that has three round and two wrinkles. Pretty simple, right? In summary, I've given you three rules, the multiplication rule, the addition rule, and the binomial expansion. And you'll see that these three are going to enable us to solve a wide range of genetic problems. Thank you.